Hello guys, welcome to round 6 of Fair Cup. We are here at Alton Park in the fastest configuration. In the first start grid we have Masalo Mayo. In second position we have Sergio Moura and David Hatton in third position. We are about to go green. Here we go, you can see Max Squasino has a very good start here. He passes three positions on his way towards the first corner. And it seems like that everyone is safe through. Marcelo is still leading the pack. Just had some bumping down in the line, but nothing too serious. Top three remains the same. And here we see Jimmy Larsen going on the curb, a bit too rough. comes back on the track again, a bit unsafe, but luckily no one was hurt. This is lap 3, where the max goes a bit wide. And a bit later here. The standings here at lap 4 is that we still have Marcelo in front, followed by Sergio, David, Adam and myself, and then comes Max, Duncan Reed, and so on. We just saw Jesper back going on the grass there. Nice move. On board of my car here, we are on lap 5, fighting for position with Adam Terry. Meanwhile, David Haddon leaves our little group and tries to catch up with Marcelo and Searcher. And here I try to push Adam just a bit wide in T1 and I managed to do that, so I went by on the inside. Still lap 5, we see that Jesper Ibak is closing in on Max, as Max has a bad exit out of the last corner. And he took his position. I think that's up into 6th position. On board with Sergio Mura, as I think his throttle got stuck. We previously saw that with the Jesper Pilsen's car as well. And it's a unlucky incident as he was in second position. Again here Max has a bad exit. No actually he goes into pits. I don't know why exactly. On board of Emil Bernstorff here at lap 13 we are fighting we are seeing the fight for position 5 and in the light bluish car we have Duncan Reed. Emil tries to squeeze his way on the inside going into T1. This is the standings after 14 laps. We have Marcelo in front, followed by David Hatton, which in this race and the next heat had a very good pace. These two guys are followed by myself and Adam. I had Adam right behind me for many laps. Here's Duncan Reed, followed by Emil Bernstorff.
followed by Mickey Cock. Yes, my back in the blue, dark blue car. Back to the action between Adam and myself. And I must say that the Brits had a very good pace through and a very good speed through these uh, chicanes here. Unfortunately, I go a bit wide and tries to take back my position. I thought I I have Adam on my side and I thought he gave me some more room there, but still it was my fault, so I am very sorry for that. Fortunately, we were both able to continue. We see that Adam has a bad exit coming out of T1, but he defends really well. Behind us, battling for position 5, we have Emil Bernstoff and Duncan Reed. And currently Emil is up into 5th, but Duncan he goes on the inside. This is a real good battle. And I think Duncan nails this because he has the best line through this chicane. Yeah, indeed. Well done by Duncan. lap here and I'm right behind Adam I tried to crisscross him here try to go on the inside but uh, Adam still has a better speed and I think that Emil here tries to do the same and they were just behind us this is the finish order Marcelo in front he did a very decent job here and finished with leading from the beginning to the end David up from third position up into second and then followed by Adam and myself here. We also had a very good battle from out this heat. You can see here that I'm closing in on him as we come across the line. It was so much fun. And now on to the last corner here and the fight between Duncan and Emil. It's a A bit surprising, but nonetheless a very good drive here from Miguel Koch, finishing in the B position 7, followed by Jesper Ibak, Pierre Knudsen. And that's about it for this race. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed my videos. As always, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see you.